Okay. Done. Great. First of all, thank you, Dr. Farki, for give, taking all your time and you know for a small interview that we have here. Thank and, you very uh, much for inviting me here. Thank you. So, I uh, could you just tell us a bit about how did you got involved with Campbell Collaboration and what's a bit about your background and what has been your experience so far with Campbell Collaboration? Uh, in fact, uh, mm, first of all, I am really inspired by the mission, which is C2 of Campbell Co Collaboration. Um, I got introduced to this uh, organization while I was studying uh, evidence-based social interventions in Oxford University. And uh, I was working uh, on some systematic reviews when I saw that Campbell collaboration, like Cochrane collaboration, uh, is working on some very interesting and effective, useful inter um, intervention studies and um, systematic reviews. Later, I started working with uh, um, Oxford Evidentia, which is an uh, Oxford-based organization, uh, and which was headed by uh, Dr. Phil Davies. And Davies is also associated to, uh, previously associated to Campbell Collaboration. So I have heard about uh, this organization and its dedication and commitment to provide best and rigorous evidence for the development of Thank you so much. And any key reflections for the launch event that happened to the end about Campbell South Asia? Well, Campbell South Asia, I would say it's uh, uh, it's uh, the best step which uh, Campbell collaboration could have taken because uh, evidence-based approach, which uh, uh, of of development, of course, which took. Uh, um, uh, which was put forth in, in, in the developed world uh, has come out to uh, improve the uh, life, quality of life around the different other countries, especially LMICs. And uh, of course, Cam Campbell Collaboration is uh, committed to um, provide uh, the inspiration for realistic development in the developing countries as well. So therefore, we need uh, some guidelines and some um, supervision of, of researches and practices which are evidence-based in developing countries as well. So I'm sure Campbell collaboration can help the practitioners and the policy makers and the governments uh, to take uh, evidence-based decision making. Thank you. Um, I have another question for you. So, in what ways do you think you and your organization can collaborate with, you know, Campbell South Asia in taking the evidence agenda forward, and also not just, you know, production of evidence, but also the use of evidence by policymakers? So, what are your suggestions, you know, in terms of how should we work together, and in terms of how should we advocate and, you know, link with the research partners and policymakers to make this happen? Well. Uh First of all, my organization uh, is Foundation for Evidence-Based Development in India, and it is reflected and evidenced by the name that what uh, the organization aims for. And the best guidance for to achieve the objectives of the foundation, which which we also call FEDI, uh, the objectives of FEDI could be achieved um, with the best guidance from. Uh, Campbell Collaboration, which has global experience in carrying out systematic reviews and rapid reviews and meta analysis and informing policies around the world. And actually, Campbell Collaboration is the organization which has seen the impact of their work on the ground. So, this is the best organization which could uh, mm, help us to steer our uh, objectives. Thank you. On the similar question, so you know, in what terms do you think, at what level we can actually collaborate together? Do you think in terms of you know doing evidence generation together, in terms of trainings, or you know, in terms of having more meetings where we have key policy you know makers together on the board? So how how which is the best way do you think, or would you have any suggestions for Campbell South Asia? Well, uh, there are numerous ways uh, in which. Uh, Freddy and Campbell collaboration could collaborate, and Freddy can make most of the help of Campbell collaboration. But primarily, uh, Freddy aims to go for 
the commissioning of uh, systematic reviews, which are, uh, of course, inspired by uh, the systematic reviewing activity in the West, where I have already worked, especially in Cochrane uh, collaboration. But I have seen that there are many other challenges which have to be considered uh, while uh, going for the systematic reviews. Um, the first of all is that uh, the understanding of barriers of implementation of the programs, which uh, in the West policymakers don't have to be worried about. Mm. Second thing is that uh, most mostly India is uh, India and South Asian countries are uh, the importers of policies. So when we are going evidence based, when we are going to carry out systematic reviews. We are uh, uh, most often going to um, import policies, like we are going to synthesize global evidence in order to see that what works in a certain area, yeah. and we, it is most likely that uh, the intervention, successful intervention we will uh, locate will be from West. So we will have to have we will have to deal with another challenge, that how to make this. Uh, uh, identified evidence uh, a successful uh, intervention in India and South Asia. I would like to cite an example that um, there was an intervention of poverty reduction in Mexico which was called Tortilla Distribution Program. Tortilla Distribution Program was however not very much successful in the Mexico itself um, but uh, somehow uh, the Andhra Pradesh government uh, in India found it to be useful for themselves and they tried to transport it but they did not see uh, through uh, its evaluation or evidence based approach that whether the program is going to be successful in India or not. So there are four parameters on which uh, uh, an intervention or the program should be transported and like feasibility has to be studied. Uh, these are uh, these are the levels of economics, politics, geography, and sociology. So we have to consider four factors before uh, checking, uh, or we can say, see the mm, feasibility of uh, the intervention into a new setting like India. I think uh, Campbell collaboration is efficient enough with its resources that it could uh, help guide us. Uh, if we are going to the right direction. So we would like to collaborate with them. But of course we need training as well. We are, Fed is aiming to develop new evidentists, new practitioners, rather than we are importing the expertise from the West. Of course we are connected uh, well with the Western, uh, you know, top Western evidence-based approach people but not necessarily that we are hugely depending on them. So we are keeping 30 and 70% approach, like 70% people will be from India or South Asia. So we need a lot of training for them as well. So, and thirdly, very important is that we need to have a mindset at large level that evidence-based approach is useful and it has to be dependable. So this is not just, it's a fact. It, it is very important to have a public mandate about uh, evidence-based approach in India. That is how, so Campbell collaboration can guide us in these areas as well. Thank you. Great, thank you so much for your time. Just to summarize some of the key points that we discussed here, that you are happy that Campbell South Asia is you know, now launched because Absolutely. you do feel you know, in the LMICs we can do a lot more in terms of evidence-based you know, policy making, evidence-based research. In terms of your area of uh, interest, you did mention that you know you are more interested in implementation research where you want to identify the barriers to certain intervention strategies, and you do feel you know Campbell Collab you can con you know collaborate with Campbell Collaboration in terms of trainings and workshops, and you do feel that we can you know collaborate in terms of you know guiding uh, in terms of methodology and you know actually generating evidence you know that are relevant. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.